That's for sure. Uh, we're uh, we're too smart to fall into the same trap again. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Sometimes you gotta feel like you're dealing with somebody that you're getting oh, uh, smart, huh? So uh, let me ask a question uh, about the economy. You know, it's really been an issue here uh, worldwide about the economy. There was a, a clip on uh, Facebook where it said that the black churches uh, have in the last 10 years have raised over $800 billion over more money than Bill Gates got more money than Amazon and all the rest of them have. And they're saying that the, the black church is really a powerhouse, but the monies that come through the churches are, are so misappropriated that it doesn't do the work that the dollar should be able to do. What's your take on that big bro? Uh, I hate to say this, but it's a, a knock on our ability to take care of business. That's why you have situations where the preacher can tell the congregation that he wants a jet if he thinks that the uh, funds are there for this jet and, and or they can be generated through the uh, congregation. The problem is with a situation like that is most of the people contributing to the overall product have the least amount to give, but they're still giving. So do you still, do you feel like the church has missed Handled the vision, mishandled the resources, and mishandled the people? Because I'm thinking that the, that's, the ultimate that's, vision. That's a, very, that's a very reasonable assumption. Yeah. And I think that the vision of uh, every church should be very similar, and that is to carry out the Great Commission win the loss, you know, bind up the wounds of the hurting, you know, take care of the widows and orphans. But there's so many things going on that aren't even biblical as far as the church is concerned and money is concerned that sometimes you wonder, you know, there's a lot of people that are disillusioned today about church and about the Bible, about who Jesus is and and there's been a serious attack on the integrity of the church and leadership. And, you know, my prayer is that since this COVID is starting to lift, we're gonna have to do some things different. Uh, it's never gonna be the same again. It's never gonna be the same. And uh, I think uh, social empowerment, economic empowerment, I think uh, business incubators, I think that uh, there should be a surge of information that goes through that tells people how to make money. You know, we have Bitcoin going on that's really a fog in most folks' mind, but people are making money. We have the, uh, the, uh, the investment of vehicle that you use and you study. What is it called again? Forex. Forex, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people making a serious amount of money in the Forex investment. So I, I, I think we just need to get more astute uh, in informing our people of what's available to them with workshops and seminars and using people like yourself to introduce them into uh, uh, the system where they can have more than one stream of income. And... Uh, you know, most people say that you should have at least three or four streams of income. And a stream of income is not one you got, you have to work. You know, you got to work it, it's not a stream. But when it flows. Uh, 
question for you. What does the Bible say about the number of streams that you need to have? Oh, I don't know. Seven. Seven. Tell me if you know the answer. Seven strings, enlighten me, brother. My brother, you'll put me on the box. <laughs> Seven strings. Yes, yeah, Bible. The Bible, Bible says, out of your belly shall flow rivers. <laughs> Several streams, rivers of living water. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I know it was seven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, talk to me. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so I, I agree. I agree with you. I think we should have several streams. Seven is a lot of streams because a, a, a stream is something you don't have to manage. It has synergy. It has flow. If you don't have synergy, then you don't have energy. And if you don't have energy, things are standing still. When things are standing still, it's considered a swamp. It begins to stink. Uh, so, you know, I think you know, synergy and energy is very important where we are right now. And I think we as the people, since we're constituting $800 billion worth of revenue that just streams through the church, we're not even talking about the revenue that streams through uh, black business owners, the economy, uh, athletes, uh, movie stars, the money we're giving away uh, to the other side. As soon as we get paid, we take it and we give it right back to them because we run to the mall. Right. Well, they say that in other communities, whether it be Asian or Caucasian or, or Mexican, whatever communities, they work their money and they come back to the community and they say that the money in their community rotates at least seven times in their own community before it uh, goes out. In our community, it rotates maybe one time and that's it. So uh, I really believe that we need to begin to, uh, you know, support black business. You know, shout out to my daughter. She's uh, li living in Atlanta and she just opened up a bakery. And my daughter is a, is an engineer. She graduated with, you know, high marks and honors in engineering, worked for, uh, for Georgia Power and several other big companies. But she went into uh, the bakery business and she's doing a Boston down there. Shout out to you, baby. Send your daddy a check whenever you get, get a chance, okay? But uh, she's doing well. I'm, I'm so proud of her. I know we're all proud of our children, uh, whatever level they're functioning on, you know? Uh, but yeah, uh, the black economy is, is, is something that needs to be addressed. And uh, and not just the black economy, but your personal economy. And what is your personal economy? Your personal economy is the money you have, the money you're generating, the money that you're spending, the debt that you incur, the credit that you incur, and your ability to purchase and develop within the sphere of your community. And if we all take responsibility for our own personal community, I think we might be able to get some things done. Wow. That's a, a real step-by-step -step, uh, instruction that you gave and uh, I appreciate you breaking it 